I noticed um, just on the way in, you've got there's a lot of photos around of your. Uh, it looks like you're catching or wrestling crocodiles. Uh, that's something you used to, you've done in the past. Uh, yeah, that's before I came here. I was doing that for 13 years. Right, whereabouts was that? Yeah, I started in North Queensland in Bergtown, and then worked on the Gulf of Carpentaria out in every river, every creek, and then I shifted to. In Northern Territory and West Australia, and then went to New Guinea, uh, all around the tropical region. What? Uh, how? Did, how would you go about uh, catching the crocodiles, and and why were you catching them? Uh, before I started to catch them, I was prospecting for uranium, and uh, filed, didn't find uranium, went broke. So. Uh, I stayed in the jungle and I was ashamed to go back to civilization. I stayed in the jungle and started to catch crocodiles. From the beginning I didn't know how to handle them at all, but so gradually then worked it out. Uh, the picture over there on the wall, Harry, it's of you with an enormous crocodile. Can you tell us yeah. how you caught that one? Uh, when I approached, that was in Roper River, there was a little island in the middle and uh, I put spotlights on and I, uh, I saw big lights, like I saw the Blitzwagen is coming from that island down. It was, uh, the crocodile was very close to uh, the uh, beach and in night time you can't make uh, the dis distance so clear. So I thought that that must be truck, but how the truck got to the island? The eyes were so far apart, <laughs> and they so big, so huge. <laughs> and I pedaled closer, quietly, to investigate. When I get closer, I saw that was not truck at all, that was a big crook. And so I get still closer, and throw the bone in his neck, and then hang on a rope. When he wanted to eat me, shot him. Easy. Yeah. What what were his measurements? Pun. How big was the crocodile? Uh, eight meters long. 